All right, let's get into the next question. Are fat people unattractive? All right, let's see what they have to say about this. People are unattractive. Mm. That's not true. <laughs> God, everyone's you agree with that? Mm. Fat people unattractive. Do you agree with that? Wow. You have a couple ladies who are fitness trainers, other ladies who clearly work out on their own. And they're going to act like the amount of fat that a person has on their body has nothing to do with their attractiveness level. Come on, man. Come on. I think that one can be attracted to a person that is fat because everyone has their own types and what they're makes yep. them yeah. tick. Um, but I think th that question on a conventional basis, what I want would I want to see a fat person for a, on a fitness magazine and say this is a sex symbol? I think most people would agree that that's probably conventionally that's not sexy. So yeah, and I think I just, that's I, the it's hard personal truth. Personal preference, but in my, my pre preference is like a fat person is. I don't find that person attractive. It's just yeah. they just seem unhealthy. They're not taking care of themselves. Maybe they are. Maybe they have a thyroid disease or something that's causing them to be fat. But just in general, I think the general public don't find fat people attractive. Yeah, and this man is absolutely correct, right? The general public do not find added fat on a person to make them more attractive or even keep their level of attractiveness the exact same. Now, one thing I will correct in what he just said about a thyroid, having a, an underactive or a hypothyroid, that might account for an extra five to 10 pounds of added body fat. So if you're someone who is considered fat, as in if we call you a fat person, you have so much added fat on your body that they can use it as a designation. I'd argue that the thyroid at an extra five to 10 had very, very little to do with your current status and your current level of being obese or overweight, right? So yeah, the thyroid is not an excuse. People use it all the time, but that's not really a thing. And I, I, I kind of touch on that as well because health, right? Health can be related to related to yeah. your you know your visceral fat, you know yeah. your fat on your organs, subcutaneous fat, all different types of fat. So there are people that find that person attractive, and they may look at them more than their physical. But we're in a now a person might find subcutaneous fat attractive on a person that's going to be like above the muscle over the skin, right? A little bit thicker, but the visceral fat around the organs, no one finds that attractive. No one says, wow, that gal with that huge protruding stomach makes her more attractive. And no one ever says, wow, that guy with that massive belly, he looks more attractive now than he would if his belly were just normal and flat. So yeah, that's not really a thing, especially when someone considers themselves to be thick. They might be thick because they've added fat on their arms, on their hips, on their thighs and butt, and that can be still seen as attractive. I think that's pretty universal around the world. Um, especially in most cultures. But in terms of the belly, no one has ever prized a, a big belly. Fitness. Yeah. If we're in fitness, we're not saying, hey, I want to go get someone who's not like, yeah. or doesn't care about fitness at all. Whether it be a, a health problem, that's beyond the fact because I'm not talking to you based on, okay, I want to understand you mentally right now before I look at you visually, and that's what gets my attraction. Yeah. And if you... Oh, sorry. Right, and he makes a very good point. We're not talking about the actual individual. We're not saying does this person they're worthy of respect and can they also have an attractive brain and attractive personality no one's saying that it literally just says are fat people unattractive so if i'm looking at just the denomination of fat to describe the person that in itself indeed would clearly be unattractive so, uh, re real quick sure, yeah. i just want to say this if you want to do the this comparison fat women tons of body positivity yeah i see fat women going on dates no problem except and i'll, I'll even go this far I think fat women are seen as way more attractive sometimes than fit women. And they're pushed and they go on dates. Okay, now this dude's losing them. What is he talking about? Why would you even say that if you're going to go up there and say that fat people are unattractive, but then they are even more attractive than physically fit women? What is this dude talking they can about? Do fine dating apps? Fat men, good luck. Like, honestly, I think like if you're a fat, fat man, there's no chance of you being seen attractive. That's very true. Actually, a woman who is considered overweight or obese certainly has far more dating options than a man who is overweight or obese, especially when you control for the fact of money. If a man doesn't have money to bring to the table as some sort of resource or status, he has no hope. But a woman can have zero resources and status, be overweight, and still do just fine in terms of the sheer quantity of men who might want to talk to them. That's, that's true. At all. So that's all I wanted. Would add. you guys agree that attractiveness is health? E I uh, correlated to that. Yeah. For example, like 
it could be anything. Your your skin, your teeth, your hair. Yeah. And if you have a lot of fat on you, it's just not healthy. So that's very true. And I think that's that's the main point. When someone is fat, we know that they are further away from optimal reproductive health. Every sign that you would have to say that someone is attractive or unattractive has to do with either youth or optimal reproductive health. And oftentimes the two are the exact same thing. So for example, if a woman is going to go get plastic surgery or someone wants to get some work done, a woman puts on makeup or elongates her hair, those are all triggers that signal that this woman is younger than she is, right? I want the lips to be more full. Why? Because when we get older, the lips start to thin. I want the booty to be bigger. Why? Because as we get older, the booty starts to shrink, right? Everything is about looking more youthful. And, you know, since the beginning of mankind, before a guy can, can just go up to a woman and just ask her, hey, are you on your cycle right now? Are you fertile? What, you know, what age are you? Even nowadays, asking a woman her age is considered, you know, taboo. And for a good reason. That's, that's none of the man's business. However, nature has evolved to say, are there ways for us to determine if this woman is in prime reproductive health without having to ask her a question? Well, that has to do with signals of youth and beauty. And so optimal reproductive health has to do with, is the woman physically fit? It doesn't have to be physically fit. Just a normal size shows good health. When you are overweight or fat, we know that the odds of you having genetic mutations is higher. The odds of there being abnormalities and trouble during birth is higher. We know that the ability for her to carry a child healthily without um, having any extra strain on her system than what she's already going through, especially if she's overweight, I'm sure she has some sort of metabolic condition, then we're able to say, okay, well, then that's going to be a bad bet for the future. So for that reason, I'm going to place my bet on a woman who exhibits traits of prime reproductive health. So yeah, he's completely right. Beauty goes hand in hand with reproductive health. Yeah. And I know a lot of people that are fat that have passed away. And not to say that having muscle makes you live any longer. You know, it just depends on how much you care about your health. Because usually when you see that, the representation is that your health is not important. It's just, I just want to do whatever I want to do. I just want to get up and just do and not take care of my health for the long term. Right. Not necessarily right now. True. And the health that you keep on your body is also a signal to other people about your laziness, about your work ethic, about your decision making, about your overall care for hygiene and good health. These are all things that not just only does a person have to exhibit. We also want to make sure the right types of concepts are being passed down to our children. So if they're not exhibiting those types of things already in their body, how do we know you're going to teach our children to be healthy if you yourself can't make yourself healthy? Right. And we all understand that just at first glance. We've all evolved long enough to recognize that quickly to say, hey, look, if you're in good reproductive health, you're a better bet for the future. I mean, and now if it wasn't a situation like that, yeah. Ozempic wouldn't be around. Yeah. So here we are now. We have Go. this Ozempic crisis. Yeah. So clearly you're saying that being fat is not attractive. Yeah. You're going to tell me that the entire Ozempic craze that started over in Hollywood is because actors don't want to change their level of attractiveness. So they're all getting thinner, but they don't want to seem more attractive when they do it. Interesting. And it's not good for you. So we're giving you this drug, which also then takes you to this point of, I don't actually have to do anything to get this sexy, yeah. it's true, to get yeah. smaller. Yeah. So I'm going to go that route. And so then again, they looked at, at that as, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Okay. I'm going to say, I'll start off and that is, um, I have met some very beautiful, overweight people. And what makes them beautiful is the confidence that they carry. If they I knew it. I knew it. When those four ladies decided to stand back, I knew they were going to have arguments in complete bad faith. Confidence? No one said confidence. Does the prompt say confidence? No, it says fat people. And this is what happens when people argue in bad faith, they try to attach and they try to change the goalposts. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and move the pylon, move it over here. I'm not actually saying fat people. I'm talking about people who have good confidence. No one said confidence. Fat in itself is an objective reality. It is a physical reality, right? Let's say, for example, the prompt said, are black people attractive? And you go up there and you say, you know what? I believe they are attractive. And they say, okay, why do you believe that? Well, I believe black people are attractive because I love their features. I love the color of their skin. I love the fact that they're less likely to get wrinkles around their face and their eyes seem to be a little bit wider, so full of life. I love the, the wider nostrils. I find the, the flatter nose to be more attractive. I like the fullness of the lips or the thickness of the lips that's more attractive. 
I like their hair. I like the fact that it's curly and that it grows up toward the sky as opposed to down by their shoulders. I like to run my fingers to it because I love the feel of it. There's a lot of different reasons why you can say black people are attractive. You're going to describe physical traits. It makes zero sense to make the denomination of fat before the word people and then to describe something that's abstract or intangible. It doesn't matter. You're supposed to describe the feature. So once again, she's moving the pylon. Fat is not attractive. A person can exhibit attractive demeanor and confidence, but that has nothing to do with the prompt. They're overweight and they have no confidence. I'm sorry, I don't find them attractive either. Okay. Yeah, but a person who is in good reproductive health, who also has no attractiveness, I'm sorry, no confidence, especially from a woman's point of view, would also be seen as a guy that they don't want to be around. So once again, she's just- mm -hmm. But if they're confident things. and they hold that head high and they're just like, I'm the shit, and they dress that way, and they walk that way, they carry themselves that way, they can be overweight and beautiful. But the minute that confidence drops, they drop their head, they walk frumpy, they dress frumpy. Okay, this woman's clearly a personal trainer. She's clearly a fitness coach who trains both men and women. You're gonna tell me that when a person comes into her and speaks to her for the very first time and says, you know what? I'm having trouble with my own level of confidence. My self-esteem is low. You know, my husband doesn't find me attractive anymore. My wife doesn't find me attractive anymore. I look in the mirror. I don't see what I want. I can't fit into the clothes I did back when I was in college. You know, I, I feel like I want to feel better about my health and better about myself. Do you think this lady being a fitness professional says, oh, really? I know what's going to make you feel better, make you feel more attractive. Let's just go ahead and change your hair. Let's teach you how to walk. Let's make sure that you have confidence when you're walking around. No, they're going to say, here's how you lose weight. You know why? Because when you lose weight, you have a lot less strain in your heart. Your body gives you back these natural signals and dopamine to say, hey, you're on the right track. You should be doing better Then the world around you gives you signals to say, hey, you're getting more attractive because you're getting further away from looking like someone who is in suboptimal reproductive health. You're moving closer to reproductive health as a prime that gets congratulated. And these women are sitting here and they're just going to try to lie to you and act like when their clients come in for the very first time, their goal is not to lose weight, to feel sexier and to look more attractive. Come on, man. And they just don't care. Now it's a whole nother ball game. I disagree. And I, part of the thing you just said was I met, which already starts off as like subjectivity. And then confidence, anyone can be confident through their accomplishments, stuff they do in their daily life. But we're talking about physical appearance. You've never spoken to the word. Would you maybe date them or would you want to marry them just off of their appearance? Nope. We're not talking about their personality per se. We're talking about just literal health I think you're deviating from the original question was is this obese person physically attractive yeah. not in exactly and he's 100 right she is moving the pylon in turn we're not saying as a per as a human person right. we're talking about their physical body I disagree because if they carry themselves comp why she playing with them why is she playing with these guys? <laughs> She's like, wait, what? Bring it back to a physical thing? I disagree. <laughs> Definitely. And for a female, she has her hair done, her makeup done. She's beautiful and she can be overweight. Are you going to disagree with that? No, she's beautiful because her hair and her makeup are done. And so she's trying to say is if you can cover up the fact that you're overweight and just see their face with their hair and makeup done, you'll think they're beautiful. No, the fat in itself makes you less attractive, lady. Come on. <laughs> she's gaslighting the heck out of these guys. But this, this is, is pure attraction. attraction. Yeah. Attraction. Okay, okay yeah. yeah. She's attraction. Would you date that she's attractive. But would you date them? Well, the question wasn't would you date Well, but right, like, that's not attraction. Exactly. That's, that's yeah, not the question. That's kind of implied. Is it implied? What's the point of attractiveness if not to attract someone for potential mating purposes? That's the whole reason why attractiveness exists in the first place. Come on now. It's always about dating. It's always about am I representing my husband or wife in the proper way by staying fit and looking in good shape so I can bring children into this world, so I can be alive long enough to raise our children to the end of our lifetime and not die prematurely of some sort of, you know, extreme metabolic syndrome that happens because of my poor eating habits. I, would I sleep with them? No. Let me say this. So then you just there answered you your question. No, I didn't. You know, I didn't. I said, it's Quick. different. So you, it's different from... I don't know if you guys caught that. She just said, would I sleep with them? No. And guys, you know, this is why I say all the time on this channel, you guys need to be able to, you're going to learn more about a person from the way they live their lives than what they tell you 
you should think or how they think. This lady is shredded. She's in fantastic physical shape. I don't know how old she is. She's probably in her 40s. She's in great physical shape. She looks fantastic. She just got done saying, I would never sleep with a person like that. Well, why not? Well, because they are less attractive than someone who is in prime reproductive health and has all those traits she described. Confident, has her hair done, you know, walks with a great little swagger, right? She would give that guy the time of day. But if the dude was fat, she wouldn't. She's lying. She's lying. She's trying to deceive you guys. And I have no idea why she's trying to do this right now. Dating, what do you sleeping do? with, yeah. and guys, finding a person in. attractive. Oh, she... Because um, I'm actually in the middle of both. But me personally, I wouldn't want to be with someone overweight. I need someone that's on my level with me, that's able to work out with me. That's like... I think, so you yeah. agree with this. I think no one's saying attractiveness is <laughs> no. not hardworking or confident. Yeah, well, I said yeah. I was in the like, middle yeah. of it. I was, oh. in, I was No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't get to fence it and then give your preferences and try to go back on the fence again. That's like me saying, you know what? I'm 50-50 in politics between the Democrats and Republicans. But, you know, I really like to have, you know, I really like to just only go to church. I think religion should be part of everything around. I believe I'm pro-life. I like conservative values. But wait, wait, wait. I'm 50-50 about it. You're not 50-50. You just got done telling everybody what you preferred. And you try to act like you're on the fence. So her opinion is useless. Disagreeing or I was well, also in the middle. Yeah. And I almost stepped forward. Yeah. But I just didn't like, like you just said obese earlier. And that's mm. like, that's what I wanted to hear. Because I think the issue is that fat, especially, actually I wouldn't even say especially for women. For men and women, fat these days is like having a little bit of fat on you. Like any vol- Since when? Since when? Lady, you yourself have a little bit of fat on you. It's natural for women to even have more fat on their bodies than men. I have a little bit of fat on me. This is an actual thing. No one confuses that with a person who has fat as opposed to a person who is fat. Okay. Lumptuous. I'd say nine out of 10 people get that right. Woman, there's people who are saying that they're fat. And so if someone's obese, okay, you're going to look at that person. You're going to think that person is not taking care of themselves, they're not healthy, that does not, you know, shout attractive in any means. Typically if someone's overweight, there are deeper issues going on there. Mm -hmm. There's so much deeper there. So to sit there and just judge them off appearance and just, no oh, you're, <laughs> you're not attractive, no. But to say, you, you've been very clear about stating, oh, I wouldn't date someone that looks like this and automatically assume it's poor health when there could be depression, there could be I so many thyroid, other things going on. If someone is considered fat, they clearly have poor health. Look at you. You are shredded. And you're trying to sell us this snake oil to say, oh, just because a person's fat doesn't mean they don't have poor health. They might have depression. They might. You're naming all these things that are also of poor health, poor mental health. And once again, guys, I want you to understand this thing. You're looking at someone who is in fantastic physical shape for her age. And she's trying to lie to you to act like being fat is okay. But her and her entire lifestyle shows you how hard she does and how hard she works every single day with her dedication not to look fat. And yeah. behind the scenes that are causing them to be overweight yeah. and causing them to look that way. So to, to just look at the outer exterior and say, oh, no, that's not for me. Well, once again, you're moving the goalposts. All we said was fat people aren't attractive. We didn't say the reasons why they might be fat should be unforgivable. No one is arguing that. And once again, she's moving the goalposts. She can't just stay on task to say, you know what? You're right. The fat is unattractive, but these people do deserve dignity and respect. We all agree with that. You know, because I deal with people all the time and women that want to change because they've had things go on where they don't know how or they're feeling some type of way. And then they, they, they uh, gravitate towards food because that is a... Yeah. And so when they want to change, what does she do? She helps them to lose weight. Comfort thing for them. And so before they know it, this ballooned and it's out of it's out of control. However, um, being overweight is just not something where you say, oh, they're just choosing to have poor health. They're just choosing to not care and they're just lazy. No one said all that. What is she even talking about? Who said that? And it's funny because she's almost lecturing the guys on the far end. Like she needs to tell them about these things and no one mentioned that. What is she talking about? That's just not, that's, a un, that's an unfair assumption, I think, about a person. That's what we have to see. Okay. Okay. I mean, you look, first impression. Just from appearance. I got this. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. 
Uh, what happened? Let's see if you got it. When? Okay, let me give you an example. <laughs> She's messing with him now. She's like, look, little boy, let's see if you got it. Cool. Okay. You go into GameStop. The employee is not a woman, it's a man. He's overweight. He's got physical breast. His stomach is hanging out. Are you going to give the same grading scale as you would do with a fat woman? Or would you also apply that with that kind of man? The type as of grading well? scale. I know. Right? Right? Because you said. You said yeah. Would you still consider him the fat? Would you give him the benefit of the doubt? Uh, when I, when what I was you saying my grading scale, yeah. you, said, you said, okay. You don't know if there's an underlying condition, Absolutely. confident, hardworking. But when you look at that man in GameStop, he's overweight. Are you going to say, okay, he's either unattractive or he's not? Or are you going to say, well, let me get to know him. Let me do this. No one's saying someone can be not, yeah. can't be nice or can't be hardworking. We're talking about purely can like, I ask a attractive. Question? Yeah, I do need to land his plane. I mean, he said his point already, but now it's just rambling. He sounds terrible. A purely attractive. Can case. I ask a question? Yeah. Let's paint the picture. He's overweight. How yes. overweight is he? He's 300 pounds and he's 5'5". Five five. Absolutely not. That's ridiculous. <laughs> why is that ridiculous, <laughs> though? Why, why is that ridiculous? To, because if he has confidence. Because yeah, he has yeah, confidence. confidence. He works very hard. The, he takes the question care of his was mother. fat. That's obese. So okay, okay. Come on, man. Come on. You're just going to bullshit right now? What are you even talking about? Once again arguing in bad faith these ladies are fitness professionals maybe all of them are they all might be and she's gonna sit there and act like oh you mean obese that's different from overweight how much different is it if i do recall when it comes to obesity and being overweight as well as morbid obesity these are all medical terms these are all terms that are found in scientific journals okay and Yes, before, back in the day, we used to use the BMI to determine if somebody is overweight. So, you know, if you're like a 27 on the BMI, that means you're overweight. I think if you're at a 30, that means you're obese. And then, you know, maybe 35, I think, is, is morbid obesity. But they act like the difference between overweight and obese is such a huge stress, a huge stretch. And these ladies look at charts all the time. OK, a guy who is considered overweight, I believe his body fat percentage is 25 percent. And if he's obese, he's at 30 percent. There's not much change or difference in those bodies. They look pretty much the same. Same thing for a woman. I believe a woman is maybe she's around 35 percent ish. I'm pretty sure. And then a woman who is overweight is around like 41, 42 ish. Even that doesn't look that drastically different. So the difference between someone who's obese and someone who is overweight is pretty darn close. So for them to sit here and act like there's a huge chasm between like, oh, this person is overweight. They're just like five pounds overweight. And if they're obese, they're this huge amount. No, they're not. No, they're not. It, it's very, very close. Sorry, okay. that's obese. That's what Am I want right? to talk about real 300 quick. pounds, five, five true. is obese. True, true. That's not just fat. True. Mm -hmm. Fat. That is fat. Doesn't, shouldn't be so generalized with, based on a certain percentage of body fat. Because you're right, you have obese. No, it absolutely should because it's scientifically objective to rate someone's obesity level based on their actual body fat percentage. This is a real thing. He's wrong. Then you have fat and then you have skinny, thin or whatever, because people have different arenas they go through. So if I looked at all of you guys, I wouldn't consider you fat, but some people at your size will probably think I'm fat. Yeah. And you're not. So when you we say have to fat. Well, so there's a bit of a difference. So if you look at that gal, let me see if I can pull that picture up again of what she just looked like. Okay, so look at this gal. Now, she has bigger arms, right? Bigger shoulders, probably bigger thighs and bigger legs. I think a person who is unintelligible will look at her and say that she's fat. The biggest market when it comes to does a person, is a person in poor reproductive health is not just the fat they might have in their arms or the fat in their legs or their thighs or their butt, which is actually a preference. And in most cultures, it's a cultural preference. What matters is how much visceral fat you have surrounding the organs. That's the danger. If a person has a protruding belly, like I mentioned before, the visceral fat around the belly makes them unhealthy and that is unattractive to everyone. But if a woman has extra fat on her thighs and hips, but her waistline is thin, that's that's attractive. And a lot of cultures celebrated that. So um, he's incorrect. I'm fat. Yeah. And you're not. So when you say fat, do you mean overweight? I know. These ladies doing everything they can, 
everything they can to shuck and jive right now. When you say fat, do you mean overweight? What does fat mean? Does fat mean normal? Does it mean underweight? Good gracious. Yeah, that's Fat's right. an insult. Correct. Fat is an insult. If you That is a fact of nature. Speak to someone in that way. And the way you guys were talking when you first walked up and you all agreed, you all were using the word fat when well, you that, spoke about the way. Asked. I understand that. But and still actually, at the same time, no one switched it around to say so that now. Woo, she is gaslighting the heck out of them. Are you kidding me? That's the name of the prompt. The prompt literally says fat. <laughs> She's blaming the guys. See, this is the thing. She's lecturing them now. Now she's talking to these guys and saying, you know what? I'm going to wag my finger at you. I'm older than you. I'm going to be your mom. I'm going to tell you guys what you need to do. And you shouldn't use the word fat. Why are you blaming the men? You should be looking at the guy, the director in the back, the producer in the back who wrote the prompt. What are you getting mad at these guys for? Now you're breaking it down saying, okay, fat is this and over, you know, shred it. Now you want to take it to a different space. But when you were first speaking about it, you didn't, you didn't share the difference between being shredded and being considered fat. Who needed that? I mean, honestly, to answer the question, who needed to know that? Who needed her to say that to us? As opposed to the way someone being obese, you were speaking about it as if it was all the same, when in fact, being overweight, being fat, being all those, they're all different. And they're different perspectives. Everyone has a different perspective about it. Untrue. Once again, she's trying to lie to you right now. People have a very universal perspective when it comes to being overweight and to being fat. It is the belly protrusion. If your belly is flat and your belly is in good reproductive health, a, a person can literally score on a test and have amazing health markers with bigger arms, bigger thighs, you know, bigger butt, bigger um, hip line with a thin waist. You know, there's a crossfitter named uh, Danny Spiegel, who's the exact same way. You might look at her and say, OK, well, her face seems a little bit on the chubbier side. Her arms are a little bit thicker, seems that she has some extra fat there, even her legs, too, the, the way that she runs and stuff. They don't seem like this pure muscle. But when you look at her waistline, lady, she's got a chiseled six pack. I guarantee her health is better than 99% of the people who might even criticize her. So I'm looking from a very objective medical standpoint. She would be in fantastic physical shape. So, no, they're trying to conflate the whole idea of this woman just kind of thick or she has, you know, extra meat on her bones versus a woman who has a protruding belly, which we all understand to be unattractive. And it doesn't necessarily mean that someone has poor health because they are. Oh, we didn't say that. Oh, well, well, if you're obese, I think you're probably. Once again, that's true. That's actually very true. I just said that. A person could be overweight because they have added muscle, but have a flat waistline and not actually be fat. That's very true. But we're not talking about that because when we all say someone is fat or someone is overweight, we all think of the exact same thing. It's the belly. Come on now. Not well, case. obese is that's yeah. different. I'm curious to know like what you all feel about what you've been saying about the whole um, women can be fat, but men can't be fat thing. Because yeah. if we're just talking like thick, I think that women can be thick and it definitely can compliment them. I think men can absolutely be thick and mm -hmm. they look big, they look strong. Like women love the whole dad bod. Okay, first of all, a woman looking thick is very attractive in a lot of cultures, very true. A man looking thick, no man has ever been described as thick. I don't know what she's talking about. And then she just mentioned the dad bod. No, a dad bod is not attractive, but women are willing to forego the suboptimal reproductive health for the fact that this guy also has money, okay? The dad bod for a guy who's broke is a nobody. There's plenty of those guys out here in the world. No women are clamoring after them. But if the guy has a lot of resources, he's well taken care of, he has a house, his ways he can provide, and he has a bit of a belly, the women are like, ah, I'll take the trade off. But do they desire it? No, no one desires it. Thing, but then once we get into obese, why, why the heck would people accept an obese woman more than an obese man? I feel like both of them are equally like mm -hmm. not. Well, well, that's because we got a classic phrase. Women have sex with who they want and men have sex with who they can in a general level. Okay. There are far more guys out there who are completely unlucky when it comes to reproductive um, success or unlucky when it comes to even having any sort of dating options out there. So they did an experiment a few years ago. They put, they had an overweight lady on a Tinder profile and they had a, a good looking guy on a Tinder profile. And when they put both on there, I think they ran it maybe for, you know, 24 hours. The woman who was fat or obese had far more DMs of guys hitting her up to try to slide in her DMs 
or you know swiping what swiping right on them than the attractive guy did who gets more matches on Tinder, the most attractive man or the least attractive girl? So we decided to do a little Tinder experiment. Here we used photos of a male model, take a look, clearly a good looking guy. And here is a girl who's clearly not so good looking. So we wanted to see which one of these will get more Tinder matches. The male model got 112 likes in 24 hours. Pretty good. Let's compare it to the not so attractive girl. She got 474 likes in the same time span in the same city. So that shows you that the least attractive girl still does four times better than the most attractive guy. I think, and that's probably a different conversation, but like any woman is going to do way better than any, like whether she's, oh, let's use the word term obese, an obese woman can go, go to a grocery store and meet someone. That's just a fact. If you're, an, for, being a guy is already hard enough, but if you're obese, that's not accepted. And you said also dad bod, we are not factoring in is usually if he has a dad bod, he might have some money or. Exactly right. Exactly right. Now, mind you a man being overweight should not be accepted anyway. We should all not like to have poor reproductive health. We should all be aiming for prime reproductive health. It's not even be disputed here, but he's right. Yeah, a guy's a dad, but yes, yeah, because he has these other factors that make him attractive. I mean, come on now. It might be like have a skill set that's oh, like, but that's another oh, conversation. <laughs> but like, how is it a different conversation? You guys were just arguing a second ago that a woman's walk and her attractiveness and her hair can make her attractive. But this guy saying a dad bod is only attractive because he has these things. Oh, it's a different conversation. It's the same conversation you guys had at the very beginning of this prompt. Come but on, that's man. my point is that there's a bunch of other things. But obese women or thick girls or any type of girl is going to do fine regardless I agree. I in, agree. in terms of just. Would yes, they generally do do fine. Do you, you don't somebody. think. Yeah, okay, okay, wait. Though. A, a thick man, a fat man that has bank yeah, is yeah, going to do way bank. better than a thick yeah, woman with no it. bank. Incorrect. His money I makes it. I don't know. Yeah. 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 You don't know. You don't know. Okay. Once again, an argument in bad faith. What man wants to actually be a sugar daddy? No man wants to be a sugar daddy. You know what a sugar daddy is? It's a guy who can't get a girl to be around him unless he pays her for her company. Do you understand how low value of a guy that is? It's a guy who's made a lot of money in his life, but he has no tact to women, probably has poor hygiene, poor health. And the only way any woman would decide to be near him is if he pays her off over and over and over. And oftentimes isn't even rewarded with sexual gratification. He's just paying her. You know, like, like what they call like those, those pay pigs, right? That's essentially what's going on here. So for her to highlight that, like, oh, he could be a sugar daddy. That's not a good thing to aspire to. No man wants to be a sugar daddy. You just become one because you haven't fixed your life already. Oh. And yeah. you're, you're oh, implying that he's like going to pay for it. <laughs> you're going to find out like a... that because of the way he dresses, the way he walks, what he drives. Some guys hide it, though. Oh, not very well because they want to <laughs> flaunt it. <laughs> Once again, we're talking about intangibles. You guys are all losing the point here. Conversation is basically over. Right? They don't have anything else to <laughs> offer okay. except their money. That's a good point. Well, well, I think we're throwing in different variables. Yeah. The question yeah, was, yeah. do you find fat? people right. attractive and our, we were like no we don't yeah ours ours was pretty simple we were trying to add some nuance so that yeah. it didn't sound that we were bad guys but <laughs> yeah. honestly yeah, just going back to the question the the thing is is when you look at someone like on a magazine i use that that's a pretty baseline for example for a fitness magazine or a sports illustrated magazine they usually have representing as attractive right someone that's curvy or uh, slim petite that's what's shown. Fit, shredded abs, or booty, uh, whatever. Because it's a fitness magazine. No, but. No, not because it's a fitness magazine. Because it is generally attractive, okay? What these women are trying to do to you right now, which is completely, completely dishonest, they're trying to argue that attractiveness is not objective from culture to culture. There was a very famous study that came out in 2010 where they had a group of he had three groups. He had a, a group of blind men and then a, two groups of guys with sight. And what they did was they set up two mannequins. They had one mannequin that was like a prime reproductive health for a woman, right? So one mannequin had a, a, a 0.7 waist to hip ratio, which is considered ideal. And one mannequin had like a 0.85 waist to hip ratio. And what they did was they had a guys who were blind, who were blind, walk in and just use their hands to feel the mannequin to decide which one was more attractive. Then they also had men who can only use their eyes but couldn't feel decide who was the most attractive. And they had guys who could see who were blindfolded and then only could feel to decide who was attractive. And across all three groups, what do you think the answer was? 
they all chose the exact same 0.7. You know why? Because it's in our biology to seek those out. Once again, it's our way to understand that the woman we're, we're engaging in is in prime reproductive health. That's it. it. Has nothing to do with you know your own personal bias and her attractiveness in terms of like her, her confidence and how she walks. No one cares about that. Just the brass tacks. Even a blind man is able to understand that being a 0.7 waist to hip ratio, which is considered ideal, is still more attractive. How? He's never even seen a body before, but he knows it. He knows it because it's in our biology. So no, it doesn't matter if it's a fitness magazine or not. That template is used in every magazine because it is the most attractive. This is across the world. This is indisputable. Why even sports, Ill but sports illustrate. But that's magazine. but you could though. However, Victoria Secret did it. Unless Victoria's Secret model. Secret model. Secret. I'll give you that. Victoria's Secret models. They have. They're very you know plus skinny. Size. Plus size. You know. But and yeah, they even have plus size models now. So I I don't know. I, feel I disagree like, with that. I'll be honest. I disagree with it. Victoria's so, Secrets is Victoria's Secrets and should not have plus size models. I but you said disagree. it was attractive though. I didn't be. say that. You're misinterpreting my words. Wow, the gaslighting. Absolutely freaking unreal in this question. There's not much to say.